I did not realize this about you because I, it strikes me that you know what you like. Very, you're very specific about what you like, but you are, you are indecisive. Is this true? Oh my God! Yes. Yeah. Um, what, what, where does that indecision most play out in your life? Well, whether or not I was going to do this show. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, <clears throat> they, Larry, they want you to do Seth Meyers. Eh, nah. <laughs> I don't know, maybe. <laughs> so you know, that was very, yeah. very indecisive. Well, I'm, I'm yeah. glad you decided thank to come. You, How you. are you feeling about the decision? Not good. Yeah. Not yeah. good. <laughs> when I used to, when I had an apartment in New York and I didn't have any money, I couldn't decide what to eat. I would go to the corner of 43rd Street and 9th Avenue. I would stand there for 15 minutes thinking of the five restaurants that I could afford to go to. And then I, it was so overwhelming, I had to go back and go home. That was it? That was it. You yeah. couldn't even pick a restaurant? I couldn't pick the restaurant, yeah. You, uh, you're back here for the premiere of the show. Uh, did, coming from Brooklyn, growing up in Brooklyn, do you have any nostalgia for being back in New York? <laughs> no? No nostalgia for your youth? I, I, I don't get that way. You could, you could put me back in my old bed. It wouldn't make a difference. No. <laughs> no. I, I, Brooklyn was a good place to grow up, though. You know. How so? Well, well it, was, it was fun. You, you know, you... You played the baseball on concrete. That was fun. <laughs> yeah. um, but there was no nature in Brooklyn. Yeah. You know, the only grass I ever saw was on the divider of the Belt Parkway. <laughs> yeah. That was it. And, the, you know, there were no flowers, just artificial ones and artificial fruit. Every apartment had uh, artificial flowers and artificial fruit. People took great pride in their artificial fruit. <laughs> the greatest compliment you could give someone is to take a bite of their artificial fruit. <laughs> Accidentally, <laughs> thinking it was real fruit, they would go crazy. They'd remember it for years. Larry, remember the time you took a bite of the apple, <laughs> the artificial apple? Yeah. I, I couldn't smell a flower anyway because I was born with the ability to only smell disgusting things. Oh, really? Yes. Immediately, yeah. if you walk in a room, can you yeah. clock it right away? A, a, a lilac, you could shove up my nose, nothing. Urine and B.O. I could smell from three blocks away. Yeah. That's a gift. Yeah, it's a gift. Uh, this is very strange to me because there are people who have actually uh, are such a fan of yours that they have gotten Larry David tattoos. Mm -hmm. um, these are real tattoos yeah. that I'm showing. Uh, there's one that someone got. Um, there's another one. Have you met these people? Have you ever crossed I, paths I have, with them? I have crossed paths, yes. Are they excited? <laughs> are they excited to meet you? First of all, here's the thing about that, you know. People who are fans, once they meet me, they're so disappointed so quickly. Yeah. It's unbelievable. You know, like, in two minutes, you could see, you could see their, their face, their, the disappointment is etched on their face. It's like, this is the guy I wanted to meet? There's nothing to him. There's nothing. What, am I crazy? You know. Could you date a woman who had a Larry David tattoo? I mean, it would be interesting sexually to. Yeah. yeah. You start to get into it, and all of a sudden you look down, you see that on her shoulder. It would be like making love to myself, <laughs> which I have done in a couple of times. Yeah. Uh, but.